Hey everybody and welcome back to a very special Toy Wizards where I have a very special thing for you today, Dungeons and Dragons. Now, if you don't know me, and maybe some of you do, maybe some of you don't, I love Dungeons and Dragons. I was that awkward kid with a briefcase with my dungeon manuals and stuff in it as a kid and got beat up for it. I did, absolutely. But it's super popular now and everybody thinks Dungeons and Dragons is cool including the people at Hasbro that sent me this. There is a giant chest here full of treasure. And we get to take a look at it right now. Uh, once again, thank you Hasbro for sending me this free product to unbox and show off. Thank you very much. If you guys have not seen Dungeons and Dragons yet, what are you waiting for? Go out, see it in the theater, see it on demand, buy it, rent it, whatever you gotta do, Watch this movie. There's some great Easter eggs. It's a fun, fun time. Let's open up the treasure box. Okay, so it's a treasure box. I'm always suspicious. Always suspicious of treasure boxes. You never know if it's full of treasure. Oh, and it's a Mimic. Oh, if you guys don't know, Mimics look like a treasure box, but they've got teeth and they're gonna get you. Love Mimics. There's one in the movie. Spoiler. I got a mimic. But there's treasure in it. I just got to reach down in there and get some treasure out. Oh, this is exciting. Man, this is so cool. All right. Right off the bat, we've got a book. Dungeons and Dragons Honor and Thieves, which is the name of this movie. And it says The Road to Neverwinter. Obviously, it focuses on Chris Pine's bard character. Uh, it's a prequel. Very cool. I'm gonna read that. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, I, I do love books. Back into the treasure chest. Another book. Ha <laughs> ha. This one uh, is The Druid's Call and it features one of the main characters in the book. Uh, another prequel to what's going on in the movie. Great, fantastic. But for some reason, the books aren't the same size. Uh, uh. It'll still look good on my shelf. I just wish they were the same size. That's like a technical thing for me and books. All right, let's keep digging in this treasure chest. What will we have next? Candy bar. Great. <laughs> the fact that we're getting a snowy owlbear crunch bar, dude. This is amazing. If you're been like I, seriously, I've been doing Dungeons and Dragons since the '80s. I know I'm I'm really old, but holy crap, a Dungeons and Dragons movie tie-in chocolate bar. That's just wow. That's so cool, dude. This thing is rocking. Thank you, Hasbro. All right, I'm now just kind of reaching. Oh hey, look at that. It stays up that way. Nice. Uh, Dicelings. If you're not sure what Dicelings are, this is a uh, toy line by Hasbro for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and they give you a 20-sided dice that transforms into a monster. I love the concept. The fact I've got one now. I thought I might have saw more than one. I might have peeked in there. Okay, so uh, Rakor, he was a dragon inside the film. And then we got... Uh, Thimmerbach, Thimmerchod, Thimmerchod, if you don't know, he's a big dragon, he is a big dragon, he's not a wee dragon, he's a big dragon, <laughs> oh wow, I'm, I'm going to bust into those things, I cannot wait, and we got an owlbear, owlbears are like, you know, part owl, part bear, just don't pick a fight with an owlbear. No, don't, don't, don't do that at all. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Awesome. I have three dice things to play with. Back to the hand in the, sometimes rattling. All right, bag clip. So these are tiny little, uh, you don't know which one you get. It's like a random bag. 
thing and you can collect them all. Several different people you can get on here. I, I used to used to be really good at those random boxes and I could like shake a box and weigh it. And then I'd play games with the guys that own the comic shops and I'd be like, dude, if I can pick out the one I want, I get it for free. But if I lose, I'll buy two. And they would gamble with me and I'd win and win until they would like, you can't play that game anymore, Scott. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you can't do this anymore. We are not allowed to play with you when it was guessing games for, for, for profit. Uh, I'm gonna open this guy up right now because I love blind bags, I love bad clips, and I love Dungeons and Dragons. So this is like a win-win-win. Probably shouldn't use your teeth. Probably shouldn't try it twice. The same non-effect. Get my fingers in there. All right, there we go. Woohoo! I've got myself a dragon. Yay! Soft. He's soft. He's got a little bag clip, a little UPC code on there. Not bad. That would go on uh, some bag or something. I'll, I'll find a home for that guy. Thank you. All right. All right, now here's Edgen. Uh, this is Chris Bynes character. He is the bard, and then he was also part of a secret society in the film. Um, I'm really kind of curious on how it's going to look as on the back is a digital render, and these are part of their no plastic packaging. Uh, so we have the art and then we have a digital render, but how does the actual figure look? I don't know. I mean, I got to try to bust them open and find that out. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. Need a knife. I got a talon. It's not working very well. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and pull him out. I'm kind of excited about this since uh, we covered... You know, some of the Dungeons & Dragons stuff over time, and including the gelatinous glob cube, gelatinous square. I always called them, you know, just slime squares. But um, that was at Comic-Con where they kind of unveiled uh, a lot of their Dungeons & Dragons stuff. And then they told us, like, oh, you're going to get this many figures, and you're going to get this. And here we now got the figures. Um, nothing else in the box. Instructions, I make a mess. Let's get in there and uh, his weapons come in their own little bag. Great. And then he kind of stuck in there a little bit. Luckily I'm a brute. I just rip things apart. Like an owlbear. If you didn't know. It's like in a sandwich wrapper. Here we go. All right. So he's got an outer jacket, which is a little soft. A um, little tight on his joints, which is fine. Actually, the uh, face printing is quite nice. Uh, it, it looks better than the digital render. The digital render has me going, ooh, I'm not sure. As I am a guy that does paint masters for a living, this is my, my, you know, my bread and butter was painting these things so that you could do the photography on the packaging and you would be knowing like, oh, wow, that's what I want. Um, they've done away with that in a lot of the industry now. Not a lot of people use paint masters. They just use the digital render and you should just then know what it's supposed to look like. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. And I think people you know, really realistically would love to see more of the paint masters to kind of get a better idea of what the figure is because this looks like nothing on the packaging except for the control art, which looks even better than this. But as the toy, it looks much better than the digital render. He does have a piece of the puzzle. And as he's at Bard, he has his... Uh, ukulele i don't know what 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 his actual 
item would be called here. Uh, but he's got it. He can put it on. He can play it. There's a case for it. Boom. Like, A plus for, for me on this. This is a great figure. A great representation of the character. Um, lots of what you would expect for your Marvel Legends scale articulation. Um, I definitely want to heat them up a little bit. This is, an, you know, when stuff's a little tight, just heat it up a little bit. Get a blow dryer or some warm water before you just decide to make them do the splits because that's how you break stuff. And we don't want to break stuff because <laughs> heaven knows I have broken one too many review samples already. I'm not going to do it today uh, on this yet. Say yet. Awesome. Very cool. I like that. You go right over here with your dragon. Let's reach in here and see what else we can get. There's a couple more boxes. This one's big. All right. Monopoly. Oh, wow. I, I'm a big fan of the different theme Monopolies. I don't like playing Monopoly anymore, but I do like having Monopoly sets of stuff I like. And, uh, here we go. We got Dungeons and Dragons. We get the uh, pieces for the main characters here in metal. Nice. I like that. Uh, we got some coinage. That's cool. Cards are all themed. The board is themed. Uh, you get a day 20. Dude, it's, you know, done and done. This is a nice little piece. I know we have done the article for it on Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. So uh, we'll put that link down here in the description points and you can click on it and pick up a Monopoly. I think this is cool. This box just keeps getting better and better. All right, let's see what else we got in. I see a big thing and then, uh, oh, we got it. Yeah, this is one of the pieces I really did want. And here's our gelatinous cube. So with the gelatinous cube, you can like take your Dungeons and Dragons figures and literally pose him inside the cube. And it has like, Lots of little accessories you can put on there and grab off and use for your dudes or put other people in there. Um, they had a like life-size one at Comic-Con when they announced this. This was pretty cool that you could go and take your photos in. And here we go, Gelatinous Cube. We'll put the link down there in this, yeah. It, this, this is, I'm really excited for this. Like, oh, I didn't know that was in there at all. I was like, ooh, Gelatinous Cube. Yes. Okay, we got another big box. Oh, all right. So here's Thumberchod. Thumberchod? Thumberchod. And it is a Nerf crossbow dragon. A Nerf crossbow dragon. Wow. Dude, that's pretty cool. The tail wraps around your arm too. Wow. This is just... Man, they, they really, really went all out for this line, for this movie. You got to go watch it. You got to check it out. And, uh, dude, props props to some of this stuff. This stuff is great. I never thought I'd get be able to... Never thought I'd have so much Dungeons & Dragons stuff. Much less, like, dragon crossbows. Officially licensed dragon crossbows from the movie. Dude, that, that's, that's awesome. Wow. Wow, I think I'm almost done. I know there's one big box and I can kind of see that dude. Nope, okay, nothing else in the small. Get off my arm. Okay. Come oh. on. Rakor. Oh, this is a scaled to the action figure dragon. Or at least sort of scaled to him. Um, he is a green dragon, but he shows up black. But it's easy a green. He is technically a green dragon. He is not a red dragon. He is not a black dragon. He is a green dragon. Um, pretty cool. It looks like it's got a 20-inch wingspan. That's massive. I cannot wait to get adequate tools to break this guy out. I, I definitely need some schnips, maybe a knife, and dude, I gotta bust him out. There's more, there's a lot more to this line. There's a whole bunch of other new monsters, including some classic monsters. Um, there's a whole range of figures. There's even more Dicelings. And of course, the movie's great. Like, what are you waiting for? Why are you even still watching me? 
go out, watch the movie, pick up some of your favorite monsters or heroes or, vi or villains. Pick up some of your favorite villains. This dragon, eh, dragons are generally kind of jerks. It could be a villain. Yeah. Go out there, pick that stuff up. Thank you again, Hasbro, for this unboxing, for all these great treats. And I'm going to eat that candy bar as soon as I'm done talking here. Remember, Toy Wizards, toy-wizards.com for your daily toy news. And Hasbro with Dungeons & Dragons. We'll see you guys next time. In the eerie world of deep, dark dungeons, mystery and magic seem real. There's good against evil with advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures. War Duke, Kellogg, Strongheart, and Bronze Dragon, each sold separately. Beware, Strongheart. You will cast an evil spell and steal the treasure. Whoa, evil is no match for good. The treasure is safe. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures. Kellogg, War Duke, Bronze Dragon, Strongheart, each sold separately from LJN.